Hey everyone, Merix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Rick Steiner, the Steiner Brothers. So we finally have Rick in the game. Uh, let's take a look. He is a new gen powerhouse. Uh, Steiner Brothers is what it says here. Uh, Link, it's the new gen. Gems do 10% more damage. It's there twice. I got a feeling this is a placeholder, possibly for a Steiner Brothers tag. Link and Scott. Uh, uh, I think that's going to happen. Uh, don't blame me if it doesn't. Uh, he is a focused powerhouse from the new gen era. Um, what else? Strap. Uh, this is equipped. Double Fury 2 with a tier 12 or a level 12 one. Seamus played on. Whenever you make four or more cross break gems, increase your red gem damage by 150%. Your green move damage by 50%. <clears throat> this is a red move damage metal, which will be for the finisher build. Um, it's 169%. Um... Also, I will say that um, this should be a green move damage for move metal for his best set, which is six star. And we're going to look at that first. Uh, his stuff is up on the on the portal. Um, you can see I've made a mock up of how I would run him at six star with a chic plate. However, if you don't have a chic plate, which is 100% green gem damage, uh, chic plate could give you 50%, um, or not chic plate, Seamus plate could give you 50% uh, one time after the cross break gems. So, well, not nearly as good. It's an okay stand in. So you might consider that. Uh, the six star move is the diving bulldog. 8 MP, deal 156k damage, and make 18 cross break gems into green gems. Um, these all go up into the 150k range at 6 star. So 3 green moves at 150k. You toss on a 200% move damage metal. Uh, they're all doing 450k. Uh, Bailey at maxed out is 2 MP and 100% move damage. That's going to add another 150k. That puts you at like 750k each move to start. That's 2.1 million before Sheik Plate even starts kicking in. And it's a perfect stun lock. You stun, you throw the the cross breaks out, and then you turn them green and blow up the board. Um, mutant, not mutant, Motu Andre, Titan Andre, Heroic Titan Andre would be better here than Cena because he's 100%. Gooker's in there for green move damage. Um, if you don't have Gooker, whatever, right? Use someone with green move damage. Ivar, Jay, um anyone you could also go green gem damage because you are making them all green and go with lacy um would be another option but bailey will be key to making this one faster it's going to be a two or three rotation but stun lock um so anyone that doesn't have anti-stun as long as you go first uh you should be able to dominate quite easily um and then the better move damage metal you have, the faster it goes. Sheik plate, faster it goes. Seamus, not so much, but it is 50% uh, once a cycle. So that's not nothing. Um, so that's absolutely how I would run him six star. Uh, I think he's going to be amazing that way. Um, really, really good. Anyway, uh, let's go to essentially a version of that that we can run here um before six star so let's take a look at this uh camel clutch seven mp red sub choose nine gems to make into green subs do a hundred thousand damage for two turns remaining turn into cross break cliffhanger 94k damage 20 random gems into cross break and then the jawbreaker 95k damage skip for two turns um entourage sting jeff Cena, Santa Hogan, that starts with seven red, so you can get going right away. If you don't have Santa, use a red and green. Uh, as opposed to a Seamus plate, you could also use uh, the Christmas plate, Earthquake plate. Um, this one to help reload whenever you break three or more green, get red MP uh, if you think you're going to have trouble cycling, right? Um, so that's how I would uh, go with him. And uh, anyway, let's get out here and watch him destroy Ivar. Steiner's really good. Uh, honestly, he's going to be a great powerhouse. Uh, did I not show his training ability? I don't think I did. We'll have to go back to that as soon as this is over, unless I forget, which, you know, it's me. So, um, lovely green five match there. Let's just, let's just make a whole mess here. Um, and then it doesn't really matter, honestly, because we're going to have 
cross breaks everywhere. Um, so it's just kind of wherever you want to go, you know? Now, you can also, the, the benefit too, is you could start with steel um, and a double green MP as well. And if I didn't have Santa, I would probably just do that, to be honest. Um, and then start with the stun, chuck the cross breaks, and you should reload naturally that way. So two different ways you can play it. Without Santa, honestly, I'd just go double green, stun, throw these out, swipe, blow up the board, you know? Because now it's from here on out, I mean, it's it's all over. Because you're blowing up the board and it's just Stunlock City. Of course, Seamus Plate will be giving us a little extra. Um, we're hitting for a million gem damage on top of the stun. If Ivar kicks out, I mean, you just... You're just steamrolling, right? Like, so imagine that when it's triple green, Bailey, Sheik Plate, you are gonna, like... Maybe two cycles, worst case three, and it's just they're stunned the whole time. Rick's going to be great. Like, if you don't have uh, Powerhouse Andre with a drip plate or you don't want to commit a drip plate to Hall of Fame Powerhouse Andre, probably going to be the best um, powerhouse as long as you don't hit an anti-stun strap, right? Just because it's going to be super, super easy, lock them down, etc. Anyway, we'll get to that at the, at the end. Uh, training ability as promised. It's a solid one. It's uh, two blue MP, and then subs do 100% more damage per turn. So anyone with a higher blue sub, like an 8 charge, you could throw him on, and you'd be getting some extra damage out of the sub sort of thing, right? I don't know who has that right off the top of my head, but it'll definitely come in handy. If not, it's a plus 2 MP trainer. These guys are all really good with the 2 MP and then the bonus ability. Uh, very useful, right? Okay, uh, next move set. We're going to go double blue finisher. So all new moves. Oh, I'm also not going to use the Alabama Slam. Uh, 6 MP, deal 75k damage, reduce owner's tag counter by 5 turns. This move has no effect in non-tag matches. Obviously, in a tag match, uh, click this and, and hot tag your opponent or your teammate in right away, right? That's the point of this one here. But we won't be using it in the, in the preview today. Overhead belly to belly suplex, 4 MP blue, 56k damage. Choose a 1x2 area to make into two turn juggernaut gems. Increase your blue gem damage by 75% for two turns. That's 150% uh, between the two of them. At the end of the countdown, uh, it's going to make uh, a 5x5 five five random area into blast gems. And then the elbow drop, 83k damage, and choose five gems to make into red. Finisher, Steiner line, 10 MP red. Um, deal 147k damage. Choose a 2x7 area to swap into blue gems. Entourage for this one, we are going with Lawler for blue MP. If you didn't know about uh, Chain Gang Cena, you can see mine there at 16k. Um, at 16k, he gets blue gem damage 45%, uh, which is a large amount. So that's why he's in there. Highly recommend taking him up um, for that reason alone. He also buffs yellow gem damage by 35%. Uh, we're going to go X-Pac because feud you want to be able to match. And Hogan is there for, for flat gem damage. You don't need his MP. Um, although there are some benefits to that, right? Um, move charge. So X-Pac would allow a full 7, um, a, like a 5 and a... Well, a 5 and a 3 should load you anyway. Um, so there's that. But anyway, we'll, we'll get into it. You may not need X-Pac. Um, honestly, this would be much better. Um... Then a like a five match would be seven, and but it is it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Oh, we already have Santa on there. I don't need to change him. The matchy match can can cause some some potential issue issues with Santa. We only need seven, so a seven row is fine. But then you still need a swipe if you want the um, countdown gem, juggernaut gem, to activate, right? Um, so you want to do like a five and a three. Uh, if you don't cascade, uh, you can also do a seven and then swipe a three. If you don't cascade, it's all the same. Uh, you can't cascade either way. 
So, you know, it's all the same. It's just whatever your preference is, or what the board gives you, I suppose. Also, choosing five gems does not make any of this a gimme. Um, so you may have to go with a red generate. I think at six star, let me see, does it go to more? It stays at five. So you might have to choose a generator or you're going to be at the mercy of the board um, type of deal, right? So if we go five in a three match, like five, um, we technically, that would only be six MP. So we wouldn't be loaded in feud on this board, right? You would need... Uh, so you then you have to like set your five match up maybe in a spot you don't want um there really isn't a good combo here right so uh in a case like this without the gem generate trainer you would actually be sol uh in feud ish i believe unless something drops in you know which we could try and uh see what happens but anyway We'll load it anyway. Um, oops, that's me being stupid. It's fine. I don't care. Me totally being stupid. Because I'm talking. Not that it matters. This way, I might actually get to show you the blast gems. Otherwise, he's... Who knows? He'll probably be done this turn anyway. Um, because this hits really hard. For the level. Because we got 150% blue gem damage. Um, so that's a 1.3 million hit. And I don't think Ivar will kick out. Oh, he will. Okay, cool. Maybe I will get to show you the Blast Gems. That would be perfect. Don't de don't destroy him, Ivar. Do us a solid. Mm, not so solid so far. That works. Maybe. That doesn't work. I'm blowing the board up no matter what I do. Eh, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing to see here. Six stars where the money's at on him anyway. That's where he's going to be really good. <laughs> Let's do... That. That's the five. Not there. Again, you can see, like, just how few five is for if you're trying to do this. Uh, so then you would do the three match and you would be loaded if we were starting over. It also gets the blue buff. Our blue gems are up to 47k. But in Feud, it will not be easy to make this moveset work at all. Um, however, it could be uh, fairly nice for boss battle with blue and blast. Um, if there's a blast boss or a blue one, um, I could see it being very nice for that. Okay. I don't feel like I'm going to run that one again. I don't particularly love it uh, much. Um, it's just not... It's not really my flavor because you need you need to not cascade it. And I'm going to cascade way too much of that, realistically. Uh, five in a three match, I'm going to cascade at least one in four or five. Okay, so let's try this one. And this one, you could potentially use the new plate, the Steiner plate. It's make sub gems buff your red and blue um, gem damage by 100%. So you could throw that one on for this one. Uh, we're basically replacing that uh, countdown gem move that did not work well for me uh, with this sub, which is the camel clutch, which we haven't seen yet. Um, also, no need for Santa in this build um, at all. Um, he's just there for flat gem damage again. So elbow drop. Oh, no, we've seen that camel clutch. Uh, 7 MP red. Also, check your Facebook messenger if you're watching this. Uh, choose nine gems to make into green submission gems. Do 100,000 uh, damage for two turns. Remaining turn to cross break. We've actually used that. You've seen it already. So I'm explaining it again for no reason. And then just for funsies, since it's only two turns, I'm going to make it three turns and put Lashley on for this one. Obviously, there's a ton of different people you could use. And really, guys, Steiner, his set is the triple green at six star. Like, Stunlock City, blow up the board. It's got everything you want. Control damage, 
in gem move damage in the form of the sheik plate and stuff um boy that's gonna be chef's kiss him at six star is gonna be fantastic the rest of this is just there you know all right they're not you're not they're not bad by any means the other move sets at all they're just not gonna be as good as that in my opinion ba -da -ba -da -ba. Also, subs much easier to load for feud. It's only 7 MP. You don't need any matchy match. Two threes would easily do it. So it here is interesting because you don't want a ton of green gems on the board. It kind of messes up your flow, like completely. So I'm just going to get rid of all of this crap. Right, and then you want to try and keep them to two columns if possible. Uh, but also, you're you know you can't leave the AI the green matches, so it's really difficult um, to make this work as well as I would like to. To be honest. Um, so anyway, we're just gonna throw some of these out there, see what happens um, with the sub turns and stuff. The blowing up the board isn't as necessary. You're going to recycle. Recycle regardless. It's just a nice little bonus. Unless you're, you know, me. Uh, blue is filled, so we could put those on the board if we wanted. We could choose into these. None of that's really doing us a whole heck of a lot of awesomeness. Um... But oh, whatever. Let's just get a little bit. One extra row here. Woo! Obviously, it's not hitting as hard as the other one. You could also use the NWO plate here. Uh, tested loyalty to buff the finisher. Was it 50%? 75? I think it's 75 when you break six red gems. You can do that. Pop these here. Bam. All right. This is set up better. Er, 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 er. There's here, here, skip, here. Let's try that. He's going to break that three of cross breaks. Thanks, AI. It's all fine, though. This is pretty control, so you're not going anywhere. One. So before six star, to recap, Three. I like this one. You don't have Santa, go double green and start with the stun. Use the um, aftershock plate. Make sure you recycle. Um, man, six star though. Oof. That is going to be freaking insane. You're going to be doing like 750 plus a move to start. And it's just going to go up every time you click the button another 150k. Um, while you're stun locking them and blowing up the board. So let's uh, take a look. Trainer wise, he's okay. Uh... Not as good as some of the other dual ones, uh, but when he's get useful, he's going to be very useful, right? And Powerhouse is loaded, as we know. Uh, what does he have going for him? Well, he's new gen, uh, so that's a big plus. Um, like I said, most of the Powerhouses, other than Hall of Fame Andre with a drip, do not win turn one. They're all multiple cycles. So uh, Ridge is really good. Ray's super good, Hall of Fame Taker's good, NWO Seth is really good, New Plate's going to make him faster, uh, KO is good, Anvil's good, they're all good, Otis is good, they're all good, but they don't win turn one. So they, they blow up the board, do a bunch of damage, take a shot, and then blow up the board and do a bunch more damage turn two. Seth doesn't take a shot, he just subs you to death, right? So he's not taking a shot with the sub build. Um... So none of them are like what I would call perfect, perfect, though. 
Seth takes a little bit of time. New, we'll see what new plate does for him. Probably speeds him up a lot. Um, and once in a while, you won't. You will just connect every single sub gem. Rare, but it happens. So, in, in Steiner's case, he is going to um, just triple green, and as long as they don't have an anti stun, he's just gonna he's gonna win. Probably on the second cycle. Worst case, third. So you're in the same boat uh, as the two turn kind of two cycle kind of win. But you're for sure not taking any damage as long as you avoid anti stun. So that's why I think he's probably the best other than Hall of Fame Andre with a drip. But that takes considerable resources. Now, uh, boss battle, he's going to be super good for cross break, right? Uh, cross break boss battle. You'll just spam these, these two moves, cross break green, um, and just spam them back and forth over and over and over and over and over and over. Um, so he'll be great for that. Uh, blues. Uh, not as good as obviously Zombie Ray, but very solid with this 150% buff to blues. Easily recycle. You will have to swipe to get it. Um, so you eventually lose the buff. You're not going to grow the damage that way. Um, also, the 5x5 random area into Blast um, will be good for Blast. Won't be as good as Taker, Hall of Fame Taker, or Ridge because they don't have to swipe. So um, he won't be as good as those two options. But. A decent amount of versatility from the focus slot um, with those, right? Uh, because he can cover a couple things. Sub can leave more cross breaks too. I don't see him being the answer on any particular boss battle. I see him being very good for cross break though. Um, and uh, usable on a few other ones, but not as good as others you might already have. Um, that being said, if you want a feud and you want control... Also, pending the Steiner link, pending Showdown being able to use tag links often and that kind of thing, he could be a solid Showdowner. Um, otherwise, mostly a good control feuder, uh, I would say, and one of the better powerhouses. I personally... Um, oh, okay. Uh, I personally wouldn't take him ahead of Ridge, because Ridge has a better coach, um, and that's more useful to me at 6-star for my roster. Um, like I said... Uh, <sighs> Taker is so useful all around, it's hard to say I would take him ahead of Taker. Ray's coaching ability, when you need it, you need it. If you have Zombie Dom, you need it. Um, so again, I'd probably take Ray first. Now, all that being said, he's probably uh, a better feuder than any of those. So uh, keep that in mind. I think he's a great addition uh, to your roster, the game in general, and he's going to be really, really good. And I think that triple green is going to be fun for a lot of people, especially if you have a chic plate, but even if you don't. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there.